Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Carl D'Souza. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Power Platform TV. Today we're going to take a look at how to install a new environment in the Power Platform Admin Center and how to also create a new database uh, for the common data service. So let's take a look at how to do this. So the first thing we'll want to do is sign into admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com. And when you do that, you'll see a list of your environments in the Power Platform. So we can see here in my case, I have a uh, Contoso production environment, and then I have the uh, Contoso default environment as well. So the way to create a new environment is to click on the uh, new here in the toolbar. Um, here we can enter in the information about this new environment. So we can provide a name for the environment and we can select the type of environment as well. Um, so you can see we have sandbox production and trial and uh, obviously uh, production is what your users will sign into. That's your production ready environment. Um, sandbox is an environment where you may want to do development on or something like that. And then, you know, a trial is somewhere if you just want to kind of try out some features, uh, you could spin up a trial environment, okay? Um, so that's where you would select that. And then you have the region. Um, so this is your uh, physical location where you want the uh, environment to uh, sit in, basically. Um, and then you have, uh, you can enter in a purpose for the environment if you just want to keep track of that. And then uh, you have this option to create a database for this environment. And if we click on this, we can see here, it says you can create a database and build apps by using common data service for apps as a data store, okay? Um, so we will be building a common data service database. So let's go ahead and uh, create an, an environment here. Um, so I'm gonna give this a name and um, let's say that we're wanting to build out a uh, bookstore, for example, um, you know, a really simple um, environment where we can sell books um, through an app, right, and maintain books, uh, the bookstore, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and call this uh, Carl's Bookstore. And um, the type of environment, I'm going to go ahead and choose trial here. So we'll just give that a little uh, um, a, a trial so that we can, you know, try out some features and I'll keep the region as US and um, create, create a database, I'm gonna click yes, okay? So we will get a database created. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and click next here. And then we get some more options here. Um, so it's asking us which language we want and if I, um, it's defaulting to English, but you know, there's many other languages that the uh, Power Platform supports here. So I'm just gonna keep that as the default there. Uh, same deal with the currency. I'm going to keep this as US dollars, but uh, you can see that there's many different types of currencies that are available out of the box. Okay. Um, now we have this ability to uh, enable D365 apps, and it says that uh, these apps are only uh, enabled for production environments. Um, so we, we don't need to do anything about that at the moment. And then we get the option also to de deploy sample apps and data. Um, you know, so if we want to get that uh, sample data in there, then this is the way you would do it. You just hit that, uh, flip that to yes. Um, we're going to keep that at, at no for our environment. Um, and then also there is uh, security groups that you can add. Um, so if you want to restrict the environment to access uh, for certain people, then, um, you know, we'll talk about security groups uh, in another video. But, um, you know, at the moment, let's just keep this uh, unrestricted. So... Last thing I need to do here is hit save. So I'm going to click save. And uh, now it's going off and creating uh, this environment for us in the Power Platform. Okay. So we can see here it's, um, we have this environment um, and, and it's basically saying preparing instance. Okay. Uh, we'll just give this a few minutes to complete. Okay. So now we see that our trial app has been created. Okay. So we have it. It's ready to use. So next thing we want to do, let's click on this environment that's been created and let's go take a look at it. And we see that it's in a, a ready state here. Um, we have this environment that it's uh, this environment URL that it's created for us. So if we clicked on that, we'd actually get to this uh, environment. 
Um, we have a database version and we can see here that the um, 2020 release wave one updates have not been turned on yet. So um, I go into that in a separate video, but that's all about um, having the latest features available in the Power Platform. So we have our environment ready and um, you know we can see here that uh, if we wanted to convert this from a trial to production, we could do that as well. Um, and there's various other things that we can do to manage this environment. But it's here, it's ready to use. And um, let's take a look at the database now that was created. So the way that we can do this is we could go over to uh, make.powerapps.com, uh, which is the PowerApps maker. So if we do that, let's go over make.powerapps.com and let's take a look and see what we have. Okay, so let's take a look at the common data service in our environment. So to get to it, we're going to click on entities, which is under data here. And this is going to take us to the common data service in our environment. And we're going to be looking at the entities within our common data service. Okay. So you could kind of think of this as uh, like a SQL database in, in some ways. And these are SQL tables. Um, these are entities in the system. Uh, these are standard entities that are installed with the common data service. Okay. And this is uh, part of the common data model, okay? So what does that mean? Well, let's take a step back and let's look at the uh, how the common data model and the common data service relate to each other, okay? So a really easy way to find out more about the common data model is if you uh, search for common data model here and click on the common data model in the Microsoft documentation, okay? And this brings us to this page. And, and so we can see here it says what's in common data model um, common data model includes a set of standardized extensible data schemas that Microsoft and its partners have established. Okay. And, uh, you know, so if we scroll down a little bit here, um, a nicer way to look at this is if we go over to download the common data model poster and you can actually download a, a PDF here if you click on download. Um, and then also you can see here in this view, uh, this is what the PDF actually looks like. And I'm just going to zoom in a little here. And as I mentioned, you know, this is going to be very familiar to people who have used D365 in the past. Um, they will recognize a lot of these entities here. So the idea being that, uh, you know, when you're creating an app, there is a set of entities that you uh, may use as a, you know, as an app developer, right? So a typical one would be an account uh, or a contact, um, you know, so you have a, a strong likelihood of having accounts and contacts in your system. And Microsoft is basically saying, we're going to give you this out of the box database with these accounts and contacts with the schema already set up for you so that you don't have to go in there and uh, you know, say, uh, you know, create a new entity, right? You know, think of it as a, if you were creating a, uh, an app from scratch um, and you, you had a SQL backend, you would have to go in and you'd, uh, you know, right click, create new table, and then create a table called accounts. And then you would have to figure out, okay, what, what's in an account uh, table, right? So there's an account name, we need a, an ID field, uh, we need addresses, we need uh, the contacts associated with the accounts. Um, that means we need to create a contact table and we need to build the relationships between the account and the contact, right? So um, rather than continually go through this process and uh, reinventing the wheel, uh, what we're doing here is we are provided with this common data model schema that is already uh, built for us based on uh, certain best practices. And we can extend this and, and customize it however we want as well. Um, but this gives us a, a great starting point, okay? And so this is the model. This is the conceptual model uh, of the common data service, right? So the common data service is the implementation of this model. Um, so when you create a new environment in the Power Platform, as we did, and we chose to create that database, we said that we wanted this. We wanted this starting point for our, our database and we wanted it to be hosted in the cloud um, and we want everything that goes around it. We want the security, we want the relationships, we want the fields, we want the field types, we want everything in there, right? 
And then we can go and, uh, and customize it. Um, and you can see here, actually, there's uh, these various different accelerators as well. Um, you know, so if you worked in healthcare, um, you know, you may want a, uh, like a patient uh, entity or a medication entity. And those aren't applicable for, uh, you know, other applications. But if you worked in healthcare and you were building out a healthcare app, then it would be very useful to have this information and structure already built out for you in your database, okay? So that's the common data model schema right there. Um, and if we flip back to Power Apps, um, we can see here that these uh, have already been built out for us and we're all ready to go and use it. Um, so, you know, really quick tour because we're gonna get into more detail in other videos on uh, how to actually build apps and, you know, what all of these things really mean because uh, there's so much detail that we can go into here. Um, but, you know, a quick one, uh, so we have this default view here, and you can see here that if I select all, um, I'm going to get all the entities in the common data service in my environment. Um, and there's a lot of these entities here, right? So if I scroll, we can see there's all kinds of entities that have already been installed uh, for me. And, you know, the easy one to start with is accounts. So if I click on account here, um, what, what this brings us to is the fields uh, that are part of this account entity, right? So uh, this account entity has a lot of fields here, and we can see here that the primary field is the account name. Uh, we have an account ID field that is a unique identifier, and we have various other things. We have an account number, we have an account rating, we have some address information, and you know if you scroll down, you'll see all kinds of information here that may or may not be applicable to your business. And if you wanted to go and add a new field, you could just click on here and add a new field. Uh, we'll go into that in another video. Um, but basically the relationships are built out for you here. The, uh, the business rules regarding, you know, what should happen when a user uh, selects a field, uh, that type of thing. Um, you can go and define that in here. The views are the, uh, the visual view of like how you want the information presented in, in lists, for example. Uh, the forms are how you will uh, get the users to enter in information into this, uh, this entity. That's the user interface. Um, you can provide users with dashboards so they can see information very clearly in specific uh, chart type uh, visualizations. Um, you can build out those charts here and there's uh, keys you can define in the database, and there's also the data itself, right? So there's no data at the moment. If I were to click on add record, I would be able to add a record that will be stored in this database, okay? Um, so that's kind of, that's where I wanna draw the line and stop here, um, but that is how you build a common data service environment. Um, we built a new Power Platform environment as well, and this is where the starting point of the common data service and your journey is. And from here, you'll be able to uh, do all the things that we mentioned and then uh, start connecting to the data using other uh, parts of the Power Platform like Power BI and Power Automate, okay? So that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed and uh, see you soon. So that's it guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course check out my blog at carldesouza.com. Thank you.